Welcome back everybody. Today what we're going to do is go over how to sight in your Elcan 1 to 4 uh, optic that we have here. A few steps in it. Um, number one, we're going to put it on 4 power, so push your switch forward, which I'll go ahead and do right now. Um, and then have your target, if you want to use your ballistic reticle, which I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, have your target at 100 yards. So 100 yards down range. For this video, it's 25 yards, just so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. <laughs> um, but what we're gonna do is put a couple rounds down range, and then we'll show you how to make the actual adjustments on this optic. <clears throat> All right, so we saw our group there. It was low and to the right. So uh, we'll go ahead and adjust our elevation first. The one thing I wanna point out while I'm doing this is that Elcan's different than most optics. Most optics are actually, when you're zeroing them, you're, you're moving pieces inside the optic to get the lens aligned with your rifle. Uh, on the Elcan, you're actually moving the whole optic, which is why this system's a little bit different. And I kind of wanted to make a video to show you guys how it's actually done. So you're moving the optic from the base. So the entire optic's moving, which is really cool. And that's one of the reasons the Elcan is so strong. There's just not a lot of moving parts on the inside of the optic. So anyway, what we're gonna do first here is we'll switch over to the closer camera so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing is we'll adjust the elevation. So um, right here we have this little uh, flat piece and just take a screwdriver. You can actually use a bullet tip as well um, if you need to in a pinch. And what you're gonna do here is unlock it. Unlock it by pushing up, so that way this wheel on the back there can spin freely. You'll see it says if we wanna move it up, we're gonna rotate the wheel that way. Now, again, these are uh, half MOA clicks. So uh, at 100 yard, which is where you should be zeroing this, again, we're doing it at 25 for, for video purposes only. Um, for uh, 100 yards, you're gonna get half inch for each click. This one here, just rough guesstimation from what I saw, uh, point of aim, point of impact, we're about inch and a half um, off in terms of elevation. So I'm, for this video, I'm gonna make this point of aim, point of impact match. So uh, 25, so inch and a half is gonna give you, of course, six clicks at 100 yards. We're at 25, so we're gonna move that by four. So I'm gonna do 24 clicks and uh, see what happens. So we'll do that real quick. All right, once you have that dialed in, you need to make sure you push the little piece of metal down and lock it back into place. We wanna make sure the optic is not moving around when we fire it. All right, we got it locked down into place. Let's move on to elevation, or windage, I should say. For the windage, it's pretty straightforward. It's actually like most optics. You have a little uh, ring, and we're just gonna turn it right or left. Of course, this one, we need to bring the impact to the left, because the impact currently is hitting to the right. So to do that, again, half MOA clicks. We're just gonna kind of do the math there and see if we can bring it in. I'm using the screwdriver. So I really don't know how far we're off in terms of uh, actual distance. What I'm gonna do now is shoot another group and see where that point of impact is, see if it shifted. I realized I forgot to make it clear what our target was, at least what I was holding on earlier. It's the, uh, if you look at the Wilson Combat target right there, yeah, it's the little Wilson Combat logo, the third one to the right, right in the center where there's that little sort of circle. That's been my point of aim. So what we're trying to do here is get our point of aim to hit that point of impact. Again, we're just gonna fire a couple shots at it and uh, see what happens. There you go. As you saw from that group, we over adjusted a little bit on elevation and a little bit more on windage. So um, again, I didn't actually measure it out and do the math correctly, um, but that's all right. We're close enough and it's gonna show you exactly how it's done. What I'm gonna do now is move it 
uh, probably about four clicks to the right and two down. We should be hitting the center of that, but in order to keep the video short, we're not gonna show you all the minute adjustments. I just kinda of wanted to show you how it works, how to set it, and again, make sure you're doing it at 100 yards for real life. This is just a video for demonstration purposes uh, at this distance, but that's about it, guys. That's how you zero your Elcan. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, you can always post below down in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. Uh, down in the comments, there'll be a link to the Elcan if you guys are interested in looking at them. Uh, there will be an upcoming review on it. They are expensive, no doubt about it, but they're awesome. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video.